full on post-workout sausage. <laughs> <laughs> That's criminal, that, isn't it? Oh, legs, legs are feeling it today. Bringing in day two of the competition and yeah, legs are a little bit tender. I've just smashed back 90 grams of oats, protein oats and peanut butter and all that good stuff. Uh, we've got a few workouts lined up, two which is the normal heat and then you've got uh, the quarterfinals which, fingers crossed, we'll get through to. Um, and then we've seen what the semis are as well. So that's all gonna come to light of today. Uh, but for now, it's just packing up the bag. It's literally the only place you take multiple pairs of trainers or three pairs of shoes for a day. It's absolutely ridiculous. Your knee sleeves, I've got plenty of food, my snack pack. Let's give the people an insight oh, to what you eat in a day. A day in the life. Hello. <laughs> yeah. You know what's daddy today? <laughs> yeah. You look at watch daddy on the, doing his fitness stuff. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> so we've got snackage. I've actually got a chicken sandwich in the fridge. I know. You will get your attention, don't worry. You alright? There you go, watch daddy. There you go, so you've got your ice cakes. We've got like a Belvita bar. We've got flapjacks, we've got bananas. Anything that's just like quick. Easy carbs, and then also cinnamon buns. What a buy by Emma, I'm not gonna lie, that's absolutely brilliant. And I loaded up on a lot of pasta yesterday, obviously that big ball of oats this morning, so I should be full of energy, but don't judge. We forgot the half a tub of Ben and Jerry. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Animal. I enjoy this functional, like, crossfit -y stuff to be fair, because bodybuilding days, that was not possible. Don't hate the player, hate the game, Em. Pick and mix in a sausage dog box. Same again, quick, easy. Like what I've learned actually is I'm a big eater, but at the competition, you're just not really hungry. Like it's a mixture of like nerves, obviously, like before you go into a workout, you don't want to eat too much. So it's a bit of one of those. I want anything quick, anything simple, which then brings me on to the biggest bowl of cut up fruit you'll ever see. Pineapple and watermelon. Honestly, that after a workout is, or even to be fair, even just before. It's like light is easy and it sits quite well. So thoroughly enjoy that, so I need to take those. Got my sandwiches, and I think, I think that's about it. And uh, just plenty of water, plenty of drink, anything to get you through it. So that is like my insight into a diet on a CrossFit competition. Could be good, could be bad, but stay tuned for the video guys. Obviously if this is the number two video, make sure same again, you like, comment, subscribe, do all your jam, and enjoy the video. <laughs> do your jam. Do your jam. And there. See that? Mm. It's absolute abuse. Horrible thing. Let's go. Hello, hello. Hello. You all right? Leg, oh leg, leg. There we go. Get this. On the road. Hey. Hey, um, right. Yeah, Hello. you. Hey, uh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, actually, I'll, I'll grab my camera bag. I forgot about that. Let's go.
Post-workout sausage. <laughs> <laughs> That's criminal, that, isn't it? When you eat it, can you look into my eyes? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Hustler Burger. Hustler's doing the bits here, boys. If you don't know, get to know. Get to know. Isn't it? Get to know. Black Swan Devices, be there or be square. <laughs> Literally buzzing. Girls on the rope climb, so guys Good. Good. Um, Hello, Christmas. So we do you know, this is Serena. Do it. Nice. Very, very nice. I'm doing this. What a day. What an absolute blinder. Did you enjoy that, Em? It was great. Good, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. First competition ticked. Day two ticked. And I'm in pieces. And I think the, the biggest thing that I've learned from this weekend is, is it's not easy. It's a, it's a bit on the painful side. Uh, but with that being said, I feel like, so my team, which is me, Dave and Fee, we done a lot better uh, than what we expected to actually. Like going into this, we say we didn't prepare. I mean, we're all like obviously into that style of training and we do hit it pretty hard. We, don't, we didn't do any specific uh, sort of like preparation for it as such. Um, and I think we managed to place like 16 out of 44 in the end, which for us was like amazing. And honestly, I'm so proud of uh, the team. And to be honest, I'm so proud of everyone actually, because we had a load of people come up from Omni to come support, which was insane. It actually goes a very long way. So, so thank you guys for cheering on and, and just telling me to telling me to man up and crack on with it. It's also uh, very helpful. Um, just, just stop Bella going out there. Nope, you can't crawl outside. Support was very, very um, obviously helpful, really sort of give you the kick that you need when you're completely blowing out. Um, and I think out of the whole uh, weekend, the first workout of today, which was the 2000 uh, meter bike, hang dumbbell snatches, and the toes to bar, I don't think I've ever felt that bad after a workout before. I was honestly, I thought I was gonna die about halfway through that, but we pulled out the bag and we did get a good time on that as well. So I just wanna say mega proud of the team, mega proud of obviously everyone who came to support, but then also like 
So I suppose you'd probably everyone that actually got involved. Honestly, it was such a good vibe um, at this, which is the Savitas events. They put on this competition, I think, annually. I'm not sure, but I think it's like annually. Um, and I think I'll definitely be keen to go back next year. And to be fair, the, me the people that I met there, such a mix of people, obviously various like gyms that were participating in it. Um, and it was just great to meet and just see and honestly be inspired by the level of people that were there. Honestly, I'll take my hats off to so many people, uh, well, to anyone that took part in that competition because that was not easy. And to be fair, like I said, that's opened me up possibly uh, for more competitions in the future. And I thought it would make like a fun video, a bit of a montage of obviously stuff that I'm sort of getting involved with um, now as well and moving forward. But part of that, guys, topped up on the old big sausage from the Black Swan. Favourite place. Favourite, favourite place of food. Um, so check out if you're in the local area, definitely. But apart from that, I've got half of Ben Jerry's. Cup of tea. A little baby to, to manage as well with her ball pit, which... I mean, I've tried to fit in there, it doesn't quite work. Apart from that, everyone, highly appreciate you watching the video. Um, obviously, I'm dead, uh, and it just shows that the video was, <laughs> was definitely worth it, but no idea when the next video is gonna be out. I'm sure I'll think of something, but until that point, as always, enjoy life and just get some serious Bella. good work. What are you doing? Honestly, a baby and two sausages, it is hard work. Yeah.